Hello, I'm Mike Kendrell out of PowerWash.com, and in this spray tip, we're going to talk about upstream injection. One of the things I'm seeing as the years go on is upstream injection isn't used like it was years ago. I started in industry in 1982. It was very common, but as, the, as time goes on, more and more people just do downstream. They don't do upstream. So the old timers in the industry, uh, we know about upstream and we use upstream to our advantage. So I'm going to show you how to set up an upstream on your machine, or if you get it from us, it'll automatically come with upstream on it. So let me talk about how upstream works. We have the water flow that comes into the machine from our holding tank. So it comes in here, it hits this gate valve, and what we'll do is we'll use that gate valve to restrict the flow of water. This creates a vacuum so we can pull in soap. But you have to do this right. Um, then the water comes on in, goes into the pump, and then on the other side here we have our valves that allow us to adjust and meter the soap with a metering valve, and then we have a quarter inch ball valve that turns that soap on and off. All right, so I'm gonna have Mark hold the trigger gun open for me. So I'm gonna start up the machine. So with the trigger gun open, I'm going to start restricting the flow of water. What I want to watch for is about a drop of 100 psi on this, or when it starts to lose pressure. So as I turn down my gate valve, there we go. Well, there we go, now we're hitting it. See, I dropped about 200 psi. I come back up, now I'm right at my, my pressure my original pressure. So now I want to open the gate valve one full turn. That's going to give me the vacuum I need to draw in the soap. I'm going to turn on my soap. There we go. So I draw it in my soap. You can hear it suck the air out of the line as it drawing it in. So I have a metering valve here so I can adjust the flow. And then I have the quarter inch gate valve that I can just turn it on and off once my flow is where I want it. So. so there you have it. That's how you do upstream ejection from one of us old timers here in the industry to you new guys or those who've never heard about it. That's how you do upstream ejection. The one thing you want to remember about upstream ejection is you don't want to run chemicals through, their, through your pump that will damage it. These are for mild soaps. You don't want a strong acid. You don't want a strong caustic that will damage the head of your pump. So remember, don't, don't put those through your pump. Mild soaps. And the reason we want to use mild soaps with upstream ejection is because you get the pressure and you get the heat that make them more active to work similar to the really strong chemicals that you have to use on the downstream. But again, that doesn't mean they'll work exactly the same. You have different chemicals in the industry that work different ways. So keep that in mind. You, you want to use the right chemical for the job. Having pressure behind your soap makes it work better. So that's today's spray tip. I'm Mike Kinderleiter of PowerWash.com. If there's anything we can do for you, please give us a call. If you like our video, please share it. Give us some likes. And uh, if you want equipment, training, uh, detergents, give us a call at one 800 433-2113, or you can look us up on the web at www.powerwash.com. Thank you and have a successful day. When I grow up, I want to be a power washer just like my daddy. <laughs>